So I thought I'd uh, film a tutorial because I haven't filmed one in a while because I'm doing my nails at the moment and I thought it would be a good way to sort of do a tutorial I guess. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is just drip nails which look like that. I've done them on a few of the nails already. Um, excuse the mess, I'm a very messy nail painter. Um, that's my thumb. So what you'll need is you'll need two colours, so obviously you'll need your base colour and I'm using this by Pop Beauty, which is this pink colour. Um, it's number 60. Will it zoom in? I don't think it will. No, it's number 60 and it's pink popsicle. And then I'm using this blue colour then, which is also by Pop Beauty, um, which is number 63 Mint Magic. Nope, doesn't want to zoom in, never mind. Um, as a base, I've used W7's just clear nail polish. Um, it's called Diamond Top Coat, even though I've used that for my base, but whatever. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the nails. And then what you'll need to actually do it is um, an odd piece of paper. I've, I've just got sort of a Tesco's receipt and you just need to put blobs on there like this. And then I've just spoiled the surprise. Uh, and then a dot dotting tool, which looks like this. It has two ends, the one I'm using. Um, that's so you can sort of see what size it is. So that's to do the bigger globs. And then on the opposite side then it's got a smaller one. And you just use that to sort of fill in. Um, so the easiest way I find uh, to sort of do this is to mark out where you're going to put the globs and then just fill in everything else. So on your bit of paper, um, just basically put a little bit of nail varnish. You don't want to be putting a lot of nail varnish down in one spot just simply because it'll dry out and then it just won't have a smooth effect then. So with your bigger dotting tool, just pop a little bit on there and then just mark out where you want to put the blobs basically. So I'm going to put one there, one lower down. And then maybe one there. And then still the same end, you just basically draw lines up to the top. And when you're doing this, you might want to make the blobs a little bit bigger. You do have to work quite quickly um, before the nail varnish dries on the piece of paper. You don't have to use paper, you can just use cardboard, you can use plastic, anything you want really. And then the idea is now just to draw in where it's basically slipping. And you want to make them as rounded as possible so it gives you the more, most natural sort of dripping effect. You can take the smaller end then, just to sort of help you give a precise look. It doesn't matter if it's messy because since when a drip's perfect, let's face it. And there you have it, that's basically it. And if you do a mistake, if we find that's a bit close together, just take a bit of pink and just fill in the gaps or whatever your base colour was. Obviously in this case mine's pink. 